an open letter to Dr. Bill Cosby. Dear Dr. Cosby, my name is Zoltan Lieberman. English is ESL to me, the letter S standing for seventh in my case, out of eight altogether, and I never had an hour's worth of formal English education. I say it not in a way of bragging, but rather to explain my stilted style and possible grammatical errors. I also missed out on younger age for its study and first started at 27. So please be charitable to me. I hate to sound like a quack, and I know that I do when claiming that I hold the silver bullet to what ails a great deal of our education. In my long quest for a uniform and universal mnemonic, I had discovered a method of learning and teaching vocabulary that is a serendipitous find in more ways than one. As it felicitously happened, it is also an engaging and fun game and patentable as such. The method is also trademarked as Name That Word, a takeoff from the popular TV show of the past Name That Tune. False modesty aside, proud as I am of my English vocabulary, my real claim to fame is my Name That Word. Figuratively speaking, I reinvented the printing press except of printing on paper, it imprints the words indelibly in people's brains, memories. The mechanism of it on the true molecular level is of course unknowable at the current level of science, just as memory in general, but it is self-evident that a different memory mechanism kicks in when applying my method. Besides being a remedial tool, it is also an instant diagnostic one. Don't let my present-time small college backdrop fool you. Perhaps my singular situation of an institutionally unaffiliated long-time foreign student of English was exactly the condition necessary to discover name that word. Among the many ramifications of my method of teaching and learning vocabulary, I prefer to call the subject word literacy, a term of my own that is, in my opinion, more in keeping with modern terminology and reflects better the subject at hand is my discovery of the less than satisfactory state of affairs with teaching of the subject in our schools. Instead of being a separate subject, it is treated as an accessory, a Cinderella of English studies. A corollary of my discovery is that insufficient volume of reading results a great deal from poor knowledge of vocabulary. Word literacy does not guarantee reading, but it is its prerequisite. Also, once learned, word literacy is not a given. Just as a flower garden, it requires continuous care. Being key to reading, a postulate that becomes convincing fast after a live demonstration of name that word by proxy, it is key to better education. Also, acquiring a better vocabulary is liable to have it used in reading, writing, speech. As a starting vehicle for improvement of the situation, I suggest that World Olympics be organized across the board, a competition for all, designated not so much to prove who is better than who, as to attract everyone's attention to an overall systemic hiatus in our education. I suggest that games be based on name that word method. The irony of it is that kids with their sponge-like memories can learn a 30,000 vocabulary well within 6 to 12 months of intensive instructions. My own experience is that they like to learn it via name that word since it is fun. In the year of 2004, when the then NEA chairman Joya's reading at risk article summarizing 40-year-long statistical research came out, I wrote personal letters about name that word to all members of the Congress and Senate, to which I received about 140 answers, many of them praising it and even promising to vote for it when the pertaining issue would be raised for legislation. I grant you that it may look suspicious from the commonsensical point of view, why would a good Remedial method claiming to be designed to revive and enliven reading 
to be so almost universally, willfully rejected. It took me years to figure it out, fear of embarrassment. Yet it is way beyond last thing anybody would want to do is to embarrass anyone. It will serve as a first-rate tool to learn and upkeep word literacy, both for students and teachers. I have demonstrated, named that word to thousands of people, many of them linguists. I yet have to meet anyone not impressed by it, way beyond expectation, there, not mine. Sorry, Dr. Cosby, my letter turned out longer than intended. I look forward to have an opportunity to make a live presentation of my name that word to you. Sincerely yours, Zoltan Lieberman.